My name is Eric and I'm going to show you how to use a multimeter and how to use it to measure voltage, current and resistance. Hey, this is a multimeter. You can buy it on Radio Shack, Walmart, Semaco. With this, we can measure AC voltage, DC voltage, milli voltage. If you want to measure resistance, you can measure milliampere and microampere. You just have to put our wires, for example, the black always isn't calm. If you are going to measure voltage, we will have to check the red cable here, voltage and resistance. If we want to measure amperes, have to put the red cable here. And if we want to measure microampere, we have to put the red cable on the unit of microampere. To measure the voltage, we have to put the black cable on the negative and you just have to put the red cable on the positive of our battery, for example. In this case, I'm going to measure the voltage of my manual electric generator. This is, you can do it with uh, with electric engine of a DVD player, for example. This is very simple. Because if you put electricity to an electric engine, it will rotate. And you find a way to rotate it, it will give you electricity. Okay, remember, we're measuring voltage. We just have to put on our multimeter here, the red cable here. And as you can see, only we we'll rotate a little. We have a reading on the multimeter. Show you. It's less than one volt. And what if I spin faster my electric generator? Now let's see what's happening. Now we're gonna see, spin faster this. And as you can see, we can see more than two volts. Two volts, maybe three volts. Now we're gonna try to run this fan. Okay, I want to check. And see how this works with just rotating manually my electric generator. This is, you don't have any battery or something like this. I just rotate this and it generates electricity. Finally, for measuring the current flow, you have to set the multimeter in amperes and the red cable in amperes. In order to measure how much current is flowing through the wire, you have to cut the wire and put the instrument in series with the circuit. Now let's see the reading of the current flow. Again. And there it is. Thank you for watching. I hope you like my video.